What's going on? So I just wanted to talk about what's going on in software development work, world these days. You know, it's amazing how things change over time. I remember a few years ago when everybody was saying, oh, you got to do crypto, you got to do crypto, Web 3.0, that's the future, NFTs, you know. Who warned against that in terms of development, you know? I'm not criticizing the technology itself. I'm just saying that it's such a niche application, meaning it's such a special thing, specialized, meaning very few people really need that kind of programming. Think about it. If you're a software developer, how many companies out there need some blockchain implementation? How many coffee shops? How many restaurants? How many independent garages? How many furniture makers? Not many, not many, right? So, and if any of those types of businesses were going to do or implement any crypto, they would probably use some sort of platform. So if you're gonna implement some sort of crypto solution, it would probably be some broad platform. So the thing is, is that crypto has been around for several years now. So when you see a new technology hit the road or will appear in the marketplace, that's when those type of platforms are developed early on in the game. So the time to have developed a crypto platform would be the early years when crypto was coming out. I think that time has flown by. But even then, even at, even at that time, even at that that moment in time, I think it was still a highly niche type of application, highly specialized thing. I wouldn't have, well, maybe, I don't know. It, people who did it really early, some of them got lucky. You've heard about them, but some, most of them, I think, failed. So what about uh, the net, today's big thing? Today's big thing, of course, is AI. That, to me, has more legs. That, to me, has more legs because it has a much broader application. All kinds of different businesses can and will leverage AI at, in, some, in some way. So you can have AI to help you with copywriting, translation. Help, AI can help you with coding. AI can help you with image editing and generation, video editing and generation, sound editing and generation. Uh, videography, as I'm doing here, this camera here has AI, primitive AI, but it has AI built into it just for this autofocus. This ability to autofocus as this camera is doing, believe it or not, eight, eight years ago or so, this is like unheard of. This is like very, very difficult stuff to do. Now they can do it fairly well and it's just getting better and better and better. It's almost perfect. You know, they had autofocus a while back, but it wasn't AI based. It wasn't as competent as it is now. Now it's nearly flawless. This is not necessarily, this is like a two, three-year-old camera. It's two, three-year-old camera, something like that. So it's autofocus, although it's really, really good, it's not perfect. The newer camera systems with the new autofocus systems with much more powerful AI, uh, much more powerful processors, better algorithms, they do a much better job. I'm, I would imagine the next crop of cameras coming out with the AI implementations, they're going to be fantastic. They're going to be fantastic. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think now the opportunity for developers, A, do the fundamentals, B, get into AI, understand what the AI landscape is. It doesn't mean drop everything, but it means that that's where you're going to see a lot of growth opportunity. One of the earlier lessons in business I did not know, I wish I did know, was the idea of jumping into a new industry, a new, a new niche that is growing. This is where the money is. That's where the opportunity is because it has, the players have not all established themselves. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.